Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is the last recipe in the Eat Your Greens series. If you haven't seen the other recipes, go check them out and come back and watch this one or watch this one, whatever you wanna do. For our last recipe, I was kind of like playing off of the idea of green eggs and ham. So this is a green egg salad and ham, like little toast. And the green egg salad is so good. It's really delicious. I will say because it does use kale, it ha does have a little bit of an earthy, flavor to it. So if that's not your thing, feel free to use spinach or use like half of the kale, half spinach, you know, you can play around, but I just wanted to give you guys that little disclaimer, but it is very delicious, but just has that little, that tinge of earthiness, but I love it. I think the color is gorgeous and it's filled with some cucumbers and green onions. So you get some little crunch in there and it's a really good. I think you're going to really love it. As always, the full nut recipe is on my blog. There's a link in the description box down below for that. The description box is down there. Hit the little button that says show more. It also has a link for my cookbook, sign up for my newsletter, listen to my most recent podcast. I also include all the ingredients in the description box down below as well and links for anything that you might need for this recipe. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support on this series. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you didn't see the other recipes, go check it out. And yeah, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the videos, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let's go make this green egg salad and ham. The first thing we're gonna do is add in some chopped up zucchini into our blender. And I just kind of cut these into quarters. Then we're gonna add in a ton of kale. And by a ton, I mean two cups, it's not that much, but whatever. And don't be afraid, just like stuff it in there. Kale expands a lot. Then we're gonna add in vegan pesto. I'm using one from Peter Joe's, some vegan mayo. I'm using the one from Hellman's. And then we're gonna add in some non-dairy milk, unsweetened, unflavored. And then I squeezed in my cannellini beans right on top push the lid on and now we are going to blend. If you're using a smaller blender like I am, it may take you a little bit of time to blend, but just keep blending until it is nice and smooth. It's going to be pretty thick and I'm just going to take it off and I'm gonna add in some salt and then we're just going to keep blending, blending, blending until it's smooth. And this is like the hardest part of the whole recipe. So it'll look like this when it's all done and that's all you gotta do. It's pretty thick, which is what we want. So this is the tofu we're using. You can either use firm tofu or like medium firm tofu, whatever you can find. And you're just going to use hands that are clean, make sure your hands are clean and break it up with your hands into a nice big bowl. And you can make this as small or as little as you like. I don't like to fully break it down, but this tofu was pretty soft for a firm tofu, so it kind of just crumbled more than regular. Then we're gonna add that green sauce right on top, and I'm also adding in some green onion and chopped cucumber. You can add in any additions you like here, you know, bell pepper, celery, jalapeno, chives, dill, it is whatever you like. And I'm just going to mix this up. It'll look something like this, and that color is just absolutely stunning, isn't it? Give it a little taste. I decided to add in some extra salt and black pepper, and I added in some more vegan mayo. You know, add in things to your preference. If you like a creamier, add in tons of vegan mayo. Like, do what you like to do for this. But that's pretty much it, it's all done. I added some microgreens on top, and you can put this in the fridge or you can use it right away. If you put it in the fridge, it'll firm up a little bit. So I'm taking a piece of sourdough bread and I'm going to scoop my vegan green egg salad on there. I know it looks a little, not the most appetizing, but it is delicious. And then I'm using some vegan prosciutto. I like the one from Mia Green Food. Add some coarse sea salt, black pepper, and microgreens, and that's it. Now you have this really delicious sandwich, a fun little take on green eggs and ham. This was my version of green eggs and ham, and this green egg salad is so good. I actually had it the next day for breakfast on some like little pita breads. It's just one of those things that's great to keep in the fridge. It's nutritious, it's delicious, and yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Again, if you like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.